Super quick sidebar because I just thought of something that I had spray painted in the past that I plan on spray painting again because it's starting to chip and I'm not thrilled with the color anymore. So this is my bathroom. I got this cabinet. I don't remember where. I use it for like makeup and stuff. And it used to be a different turquoise. I think the one that I really like. And so I had spray painted it this color. I'm not thrilled with it anymore. It's more of a teal, even though it looks blue. It's going to get painted again. And I'm not going to strip it. Because I'm not thrilled with that color, and I never was. But I left it up for a little while, and that was the end of it. I'm trying to think of why I was telling you this. Oh! So the reason why I brought this up was because I think that the reason this color was chosen, and the video is not doing it justice. It's more of a... Of a I don't know what color. It's not as blue as it looks. It's because when I had the extra tiles, I actually cut some and put them in the bottom here. And that's why I painted it that color, because it matched the tiles. They weren't glued in or anything, so I just removed them. But the shelf is really dusty, so I'm going to um, vacuum it out quick. But you want to see how lazy I am? Check this out. I found out what color the last one was, because I didn't even paint the whole thing. I only painted far enough for you to not see it when I when I pull the drawer out. But this is the color it was, I think, when I bought it. Or maybe... No, I think it was white, and I must have painted it that color. I went that far around. I'll probably just paint the whole thing this time. That way you, you find out the right way to do it, Anne. So I'm going to paint this cabinet. I'm going to my hair up. Hold on. And, ugh, this rat's nest is getting washed tonight. I'm like, fucking dirty girl. So I gotta, I took the tiles out. One of the things that you want to make sure you ha don't do is it can't be dirty. Like, this is a bathroom. So there's, like, hairspray on it. Or um, I've noticed that, like, over time, it looks like, uh, I'll turn it around. Like, your, the grease and oils from your fingertips and your hands and stuff. So there's, like, dust stuck in the corner that I can't really get out with the vacuum. So I'm just going to wash these a little bit I'm, with a damp cloth because it is wood. So if I wash it really thoroughly, it's going to get wet and you can't spray it until it's dry. So I'm just going to use a damp cloth so it's dry within like five or ten minutes. Uh, it was easier for me to just spray it with my bathroom cleaner, which by the way, and go fucking buy this. This is Lysol brand new day. That's the bathroom one. I use um, the, the concentrate to mop the floors, but I also use the spray to clean the house. Hibiscus mango. <gasps> I don't know why I didn't do a review on that. At some point, I'm going to have to. I bought the toilet cubes. I bought the toilet cleaner. I bought the bathroom cleaner, the kitchen spray, the floor. I cannot get enough of that Lysol. That's just a side tip. So now it's totally clean. And one of the smartest things I did when I hung this was I hung it with screws in the grout. So now that I'm taking it down... There aren't, I'm not leaving any holes in the tile. I can just put some grout or leave the screws. Fuck it. I'm not going to be here anymore. Okay, I'm just going to spray this in the garage because as you can see, I already have spray paint all over this garage. But look at the color this used to be. This is the color of my last bathroom. So I must move a lot. And <laughs> I guess I move a lot. I wasn't expecting to move anymore. So this better be the last fucking time I spray this thing. Let's do this. Fuck. I'm going to spray the entire drawer, all the drawers, inside and out. There isn't going to be any half painting. There isn't going to be like, oh, just the part that we pull it out. I'm going to paint all of it. And I'm going to do the drawers first. I'm not even paint like as much of the inside as I can so that the whole thing is all one color. And who knows? Maybe I won't be the only one that's erased. I'm going to erase this color. Erase it. Oh, I like this. That's pretty. It's really pretty. Okay, I do like this. The only thing is, this is satin. I guess satin will work. I don't, I don't want matte. I like when stuff is shiny. Glossy. Glossy and shiny. Now, I didn't paint the inside of the drawer in the front yet. That one is the least important because it's the one you won't see. You won't see anything. I want to get the, the front. Oh, 
Okay, that one's painted. I got it all over me. I don't know. It didn't happen the first time, I don't remember. I mean, it's happened. Oh, no. Fuck you, Rustoleum. Don't you fucking dare. I lined up the dot. Don't fucking tell me I didn't. Son of a... Oh. <gasps> wow. That's not common. It does happen, but not that often. This is Lagoon Satin. And we're going to do a little painting on Christine. Okay, so we're also back to already reviews after dark because I want to paint, I, I painted Christine's, the inside of Christine's passenger door with the black gloss spray and it looks fan-fucking-tastic. It looks like a brand new interior except for the fact that I did a shitty job doing it, but I'm going to show it to you. Look at that. Of course, it looks terrible only because I sprayed the inside of the door afterwards, so I got turquoise paint all over it and that's, that must be why it looks so bad, but I'm going to respray it. But it's so shiny, and it looks really good. And on another note, I get to try a new product tonight. And I really hope it's not like my normal unboxing videos, because it's just an uncapping. So the product I told you that I bought for the Jeep, that was going to be, um, it says it, it takes uh, a rusted area, sprays it, and makes it a paint, pr painted protectable surface. Well, Christine has the tiniest little bit of rust. Not much. I want to see. Oh, it's too dark over here. I got my spotlight. Hold on. I'm doing too many things at once. Okay. It's, it's this step. So this is what I'm using. The inside of her door is the, the two time ultra cover. Then I have her, uh, seaside. Is it seaside? Seaside gloss. It's this one. The rust reformer. It's not rust remover. Rust reformer. Instantly converts rust to a protected paintable surface. Christine has the tiniest little bit of rust along the bottom trim of the inside of her door. Okay, so I'll show you. So this is where Christine has just a little bit of pitted rust. That little tiny bit going up around the, the trim, a little bit underneath the door frame, but it's, it's solid. It's not like, you know, it's not like it's rotted through. It's not rusted through. And then down here at the very bottom, she's just got a little tiny bit. I mean, that's just not even rust yet. It's kind of like, at this point, it's only taken the paint off. It hasn't even like rusted, like made rust. It just looks dirty. So I'm going to use the rust. I, I'm, I'm making this too difficult. I'm just trying. I mean, am I trying too hard? These videos are like one of my favorite pastimes. And I just don't have time to do them. And it drives me nuts. I'm too busy and I have too much to do. I'm out in the fucking dark trying to do this. But it's fun. It's like me and my peeps. So I'm going to try this. Wish me luck. I hope this works. I'm going to, um, now I don't understand why they have to make these instructions so fucking small. I'm just using it. I'm not reading. I, I, I can't fucking read that. How the fuck am I supposed to read that? All right. Let's hope this works out. Line up your black dot with your nozzle. I can't even fucking see. Alright, I hope you can see. And since they already painted that, I'll just have to repaint it. Um, there's a little here. Okay. That is a paintable, rust-protected surface now. So now I gotta tape it. Because if I'm going to show Anne how to get this paint, I want this to, down here is going to be turquoise because this is where 
the truck used to be green and now it needs to be turquoise all around. And then here, the vinyl is all gonna, is gonna get all new shiny black. And I guess my driveway's uneven. My camera's gonna fall over. All right, we got this. There we go. So I brought paper home. I don't normally have a need for paint tape or for paper, but this, this one I do. So I found this. If you don't have one of these, um, you can just fold the paper. I like the paper to be a little bit smaller than the area that I'm taping off because if you don't make it small enough, there's nowhere to put the tape. So if you didn't already know that, you'll, you'll learn quickly. And if the paper's too big, just, just tuck it under. But I don't normally care about being messy with the paint. It's just I'm sick of scraping the window so I can see where I'm going. So I'm finally going to just fucking do it right. So the tape is actually going to go all the way to the top. And then the paper can just be a fill-in. And if it's too short on one side, the tape's not white, it'll be edge of the piece. All right, this is kind of sick because I've been out here for a minute. Christine looks like she's she's starting to look like she's getting like an authentic fucking paint job here. Check this out. I got all of her uh, weather stripping done. Her chrome strip here, all around the door. She's ready for two coats. I can do the black after I do the turquoise. She's ready to go. I do like that Rustoleum will let you spray upside down for at least for a little while. Oh my gosh, somebody tried to buy Christine today. I was like, what? No. Some guy pulls up. I'm working at the house where I'm painting. And there's a landscape truck. It's a dead end. The guy comes in and tries to put, comes up the hill to do a U-turn and leave. And all of a sudden I see him and he, he like stops. He's looking at me and he's, he says something out of the truck. So I walk up and I'm like, what's up? He's like, what year is that truck? I'm like, oh, it's 85. And he goes, that's a cool truck. I'm like, yeah, she's got a dump bed and everything. He's like, you want to sell it? I'm like, no. It's Christine. Get the fuck out of here. I'm like, Facebook Marketplace, dude. They got them all over the place. He's like, yeah, I can't part with the money. I'm like, then what are you asking me for? You think I'm going to give it to you for free? I'm not even selling her. I'm getting rid of the painter. I said I spray painted. He goes, really? She looks good. And someone complimented her paint job yesterday. They were like, I love your turquoise truck and tools. I'm like, thank you very much. So she looks pretty good. I mean, I'm not trying to do a professional paint job, but I'm not looking like, I don't want to look like I did it with Sharpies. I might give me a little more. Come on. Next. Got a couple of runs down here, so. This is where I, now down here is where I painted it with that rust restore. Oh, that covers nicely. I might like that stuff. That might be actually a successful, not unboxing, but a successful uncapping. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She's gonna be so happy that she's gonna want to drive me around safely forever. Forever. Okay. Now, I'm gonna let that dry for a few minutes and then I may show you the inside of the door quick and then that's it. I gotta end this really long ass, ridiculous shit show mishmash crap shoot video. Sorry, Ann. So, be careful what you ask for. Cause you might get it. I'm gonna try to do just a tiny spot where we got blue, where we got the turquoise, and see if there's anything left in this can. I don't think there is. No. All right. 
Alright, I'm just gonna do a little so I don't get any on the paint. And I got it on the paint. Because I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole. Alright, I gotta fix that. I'm such a dick. Some of this is tape. But I think I finished both of them though. Fuck, I finished. I wonder if I have any more. I fucked it up. Looks like I have another whole fresh can. But this and is why you have to have patience, and I have none. The difference is if I was doing this with somebody else, it would take me a fucking week because I would do it right. But when it's me, I have no patience. So hurry up and do it. All right, that's it. I think I think I've done enough spray painting, and I've definitely, um, yeah. I guess maybe I should show you what it looks like when the tape comes off. looks pretty good. That's just from the excess tape. And then I sprayed the outside of the chalk. But look at I did it good. I just get a little bit. That's going to get sprayed. This this here, that's going to get sprayed black tomorrow. So that'll be nice and shiny. Just like the side of the inside of the door. And then I'll do the edges of the inside of the door when I can tape the, the turquoise paint. But Christina's looking sharp. She is looking sharp. Beautiful girl. That's all I'm talking about. Okay, now it's complete. And I gotta I got go wash. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. But please be kind and patient like I'm not. And if you want to hit like or subscribe, I would fucking love that. You guys have a fantastic night. Hi, it's Heather with the latest installment of Already Reviews. And I swear I'm going to do this before it gets fucking dark. I'm pushing the envelope, though. This is going to be a mishmash mashup of a bunch of different products, and I'm going to be eating. TJ made me two burgers. I didn't have the heart to tell him I had three pieces of pizza on the way home, but that's okay because this thing is, like, fucking raw. Look at that. It's like, knock the horns off and wipe its ass. That's my style. Okay. This is going to be part of part two of the do-it-yourself rust -Oleum video. But I'm throwing in products because I'm going to use my Ryobi power scrubber because I have more to do on Christine and I cannot fucking wait to show you what I did to her last night. And I was so patient. I left everything overnight. I didn't fuck it up till this morning. <laughs> Okay, so is it JP, PJ, JP, whatever. I got a Heatherism for you. Hold on, let me get my breath. Okay. Christine has been Heatherfied. Wait until you see, she's so pretty. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, that's glitter. Christine has a gl Oh, that is some sparkle. Look at that shit. That is one bedazzled bitch. Oh, yeah. So guess what I thought of doing? She's been getting so much attention lately. Because she really looks good. You know what doesn't look good? Her wheels. So I'm thinking, how would she look? Well, I already know how she would look. She would look so beautiful. I am going to wash and scrub her wheels. 
with my Ryobi power scrubber and a couple of really awesome cleaners that I need to tell you about. So I'm just going to incorporate all of them. Here's the best part. I'm painting her wheels. They're going to be white all around the exterior and fucking turquoise in the middle. I don't know if she's going to start looking hoopty, but I don't care. She's just, she's getting everything now. This is so fucking good. I swear, I don't even think he cooked it. <laughs> it's fucking raw. But it's got cheese and mayonnaise. Oh. That's like... Mm. It's like a party in your mouth and everyone's invited. Actually, hold on. It's a party in your mouth and everyone's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I know I ain't right I have to hurry up and eat because we're losing daylight so fucking fast and I have to get this done so I'm hooking up my Ryobi power scrubber to the hose I'm not going to use a detergent dispenser though I'm going to try two different cleaners on two different wheels. They're both fantastic cleaners. The first one is my namesake. Uh, Clean Freak. Hold on. Uh, all right. This stuff is like super awesome. And so is this stuff. So I'm going to spray one wheel each. This one will be clean freak. I love how when you just hold it, I mean, you just, you, it like sprays really cool. Like you, you press it and it's like, and it smells lemony. And I'm like, I'm a manufacturer's wet dream because I never use, well, I can't say never. I hate that word because then I wind up eating those words. I don't ever use products the way I'm supposed to. I always use too much. And it's like, oh, you don't need that much. Shut up. I'm buying more. Like, So I'm just going to let, I want to get this in the cracks and crevices. Let's see what this does for Christine's old wheels. And now we're going to go to the other side. I'm going to spray the other front tire. I'm also going over to this side so I can show you her beautiful dashboard again. That is sick. That is fucking sick. You know how long I sat out here in the dark last night putting tape in here and using a fucking snap-off exact, a snap-off fucking razor knife to cut the tape? I mean, it was perfect. And then today I discovered how to take the dashboard off by removing five screws. <laughs> so, let's see what this one does. <sighs> this is, I don't know, this one's fucking dirtier. <clears throat> this one might need the Rust-Oleum Rust restore. Not that you're rusty, Christine. You're not rusty. She's not rusty. Okay, let me get the power scrubber going. So let me turn this on. See, I'm losing daylight. All right, where's the water? Right there. Get this wet. You turn it on. Get this wet. Now this, we'll get this party started. I want to turn the water off. Okay. I gotta get a good grip on this thing. That's what she said. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see. Just whoop, whoop, whoop. Fuck it. Okay. All right. On to the other side. I think the sun is setting on the other side. Maybe we'll still have some light. This one's bad. Let's see which one works better. I think it's going to be the Dawn. It's like taking rust off. And it's safe enough to clean wildlife. It's a good thing I don't really want to ever sell Christine because no self-respecting man with a penis would ever drive it with a... I can't sell it with turquoise glitter fucking dashboard. And that's not stickers, man. That's fucking paint. All right. Let's see. Now, I like that this is adjustable. So I can turn the power scrubber off. I can move the head down. And then I can put the water up and just use it to rinse. Oh! I can't believe I forgot to tell you. I'm going to Nashville. I booked the flight the other day. I got the email on, um, I get emails from them because I went so many times last year and I did like activities. I got the email for the New Year's Eve Big Bash. And they just announced that Jelly Roll and Kane Brown are the headliners and more acts are to follow. So I'm like, oh, I was going to go last year and I didn't. So I was looking at the packages and I'm like, let me look at the hotels before they get wind of this and they change. So I went to hotels.com, which I've never done a review on. They're fantastic. I'm like VIP gold with them. So I go to hotels.com. I'm looking in Nashville. All the top hotels are anywhere between $290 and $485 per night. I'm like, holy shit, there's no way I'm ever going to, I can't do it. And all of a sudden, now when I went to Nashville the very first time, I got a great deal on the graduate Nashville, which is like super floopy, floopy. It's fucking pink, just like my box. And so I stayed at the graduate Nashville and I fucking loved it. And so this pop-up comes up on the screen, VIP special rate, 20 or 25% off. 175 a night. I booked it. So I'm flying out on my birthday and I'm coming home New Year's Day. Fuck all that noise. I'm leaving New York and everybody in it and behind. And I called about the VIP tickets. Turns out the concert's free, but that's if you want to get jammed into the downtown outside area like New York City. If you get the VIP passes, you get like free food. I love food. And um, heat lamps outside and you get closer, like, front, like you get close to the bands and stuff like that. So I called this, like only in fucking Nashville, it's an 800 number. And I'm like, you can call to ask for tickets. Like, I don't have to sit here and build this package. I'm like, it's not going to work, but let me see. I called the 800 number and an English speaking Southern drawl gentleman literally answers the phone with, hello? <laughs> I'm like, the fuck? I'm like, wait, wait, hold on. I was like being in a commercial. That's the person? He's like, how can I help you? I'm like, oh, I just booked my room. I got a flight for $285 round trip. Priceline. So I'm like, I just booked my room. I just booked my hotel. I'm like, I need to get the, the tickets. And he's like, well, the show is free. I'm like, I didn't know that. And he's like, there's VIP passes. I'm like, yes, yes, please. And he's like, they're not available yet. I'm like, oh. I'm like, when do they become available? He's like, closer to the date. I'm like, really? Like, why do that to people? So he's like, it's okay. Because I'm thinking, I'm like, can you put me on like a list? I didn't even get the words out of my mouth. <clears throat> this motherfucker's like, but we have a list that we can put you on. There's like a wait list. And um, as soon as they become available, the people that are on that list will get called first. I'm like, yes, please. Yes, please. And thank you very much. So I, and I get four full days because I'm flying out on the 29th, which is my birthday at five o'clock in the morning. I get there with the time change. I get there at like nine in the morning and I can't check in until four. So I have all fucking day to go traipsing around Nashville. And then it's 
the 29th night, the 30th night, New Year's Eve night, and I don't fly out on New Year's Day until like 7.30 at night. So I don't have to roll out of bed. I'll get up early to go. I don't want to get up early to come back. So I'm going to Nashville. It's dark. I got to go. But everybody needs to tell me how pretty Christine looks. So those, you, you can ask questions, but your comments should all be about how pretty Christine's dashboard looks and how pretty her wheels are going to look. And please hit like or subscribe. It makes me so happy. Fuck it. I brought the piece of shit tripod light out. Maybe it'll work tonight. They should just advertise it's not for tight spaces. It's a work light, but only in, only in like a fucking parking lot. All right. So we got, look how clean her wheels came out. So here's the deal. I think the ones that Mr. Clean, Clean Freak cleaned, definitely came out cleaner. But in Dawn's defense, I think the Dawn Power Scrub took more off because the left driver's wheel seemed dirtier and rustier. So, I think, I'm thinking I'm going to go with all of this in white. And just this part's going to be turquoise. And TJ, if I spray paint her lug nuts, they won't get stuck, right? I mean, it's fucking spray paint. Don't they use machines to get them off? It's not yeah, like you have to use your fingers. You should be able to get them off. Yeah. I mean, there, be, there's a better chance of them being rusted on than fucking painted on. All right. And since she's not a white wall girl. Ugh. I'm also doing this because I was afraid to prior. She just passed inspection. Back on wood. Um, she passed inspection, and it wasn't like one of those rigged ones. I'm like, I said to the mechanic, I'm like, he's so ethical and shit. I'm like, so what does Christine have to do to pass inspection? He's like, oh, pass inspection? I was like, right. And he's like, no, seriously. I was like, fuck. She fucking passed. I think there was only one small repair he had to make. I mean, don't get me wrong, I dumped 1200 into her. But that's because she didn't have a horn. I have a horn now. I have the, he put brights in for me because my headlights are too low and I, everyone's always driving with their brights on, so I, I wanted brights so I could flash people. He couldn't put it in the module. He had to give me the old school one. He stepped on, on the floor. I was like, yeah, unfortunately, I'm old enough to remember that. So now Christine has a horn. Ask TJ. I kept hitting it by mistake last night at like midnight when I was trying to tape the dashboard. He was sleeping and the dog kept barking. Every time I hit the horn, it was like, Wah! and the dog would start barking. And I'm out here at fucking midnight in the dark. No wonder he doesn't like me. Oh, I have to pee. I don't want to pee. Going to the bathroom is such a waste of time. TJ, I thought you were hanging out with me. I thought you were smoking your cigar. You're going to come hang out with me. Flat lever. Huh? Don't you want to see Christine be beautified? I thought you were hanging out with me and smoking your cigar. I finished the cigar. Oh, so you just left? Talking to the video. I'm talking to I'm talking to whoever will fucking listen, which is obviously whoever does not you. I had to talk to the video. They're my friends. I don't know who they are, but they're my friends. Oh yeah. Oh suki suki. That is that that is fucking hot. She's gonna look so fucking pretty. Oh my gosh. Speaking of, I found this button on the computer for demographics or statistics or something. TJ, you're gonna, you're gonna laugh at this. It's like it tells you the segment of people that watch my videos by age group. No wonder I get fucking compliments. I think it's like 80% of people that are 65 and older. I was like, oh, no wonder they're so nice. They're like polite and they can't see.
Okay. Now that just looks too pretty for fucking words. <clears throat> and I'm going to wait for it to dry so I don't fuck it up. And I guarantee you in five minutes I'm going to come back here and show you how I fucked it up because I didn't wait. Good morning. It, it's a, it's a roll-out-of-bed kind of morning. Can you tell that I'm that excited because I wanted to see Christine's wheels? Look how fucking good they look. There's a little tiny bit of speckles on the tire. That's okay. That'll just come off. I did a pretty good job for the most part. They look so cool. It's supposed to rain this morning. And I had to go in the hot tub quick because I'm having trouble moving this morning. So, hence, hence the robe. So, this, I sprayed. Yeah, it's going to rain. Let me hurry up and go outside before it rains and spray so that maybe it'll dry before the first raindrops come. I started thinking this morning, let me get this down here, because I think she needs a couple of touch-ups. There we go. I started thinking this morning that I might be treating Christine, I might be treating Christine like a little bit too much of a fucking metaphor for me, because I noticed that the whole front of Christine looks good. Like I worked on her tires, her, her truck body, the box and everything. The box, the front, and her ass end is just completely ignored. I'm like, her, her dump bed looks like shit. Her, her ass end, and I'm like, I joke around all the time about how, yeah, I'll make sure I don't dye my hair in the back. I only do the front because I can't see it's not there. I'm like, yeah, I can have washboard abs and make sure that everything's fit. But the back end is if my ass is like jelly. I got to stop bending down in front of the camera. I've seen some cottage cheese in the back of my legs a few times. And I'm like, I don't care about the back. As long as I look good coming, I don't care what I look like going. And nobody's back there that can see it anyway right now. I don't want to treat Christine the same way. Bitch looks good coming, but she doesn't look so good going. So I got to stop and make sure that I'm not like turning Christine, like I'm going to turn into that real fucking Stephen King movie where I become obsessed with this fucking truck. The way that guy was obsessed with his fucking old car. I don't think Christine would kill anybody though. And if I look at this side from this angle, I can see I missed here, just around some edges and in some cracks. Got to get in the crack. There we go. I do love that rust will let you use their spray paint cans upside down and they still spray. Okay. I think we got her done. Get her done. Now, I just hope that that dries before the rain comes. And then I'm going to have to do the turquoise another day because I'm so sick of wrecking the shit. I'm trying to be more patient. I'm just too excited. Oh, so let's see how she looks. Hold on. Let's see how she looks with the door closed. Aw. No, don't look at the back. It's just the front. That's my pretty girl. And when I spray the wheels in the middle turquoise, it's going to be just the perfect detail.